of my friends say, girl, you better take care. Cause that man is trouble, you best beware. And load it down, I know I might be headed for teardrops. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no. happening sailors today is a very special day if you are looking for a cruising cat to take you anywhere in the world you've just found it i'm in key west florida and i'm on board a 2019 fontaine Show siona 47 that is ready to go i can't wait to show you let's go check it out as soon as you step foot on this boat it's obvious that this boat has been meticulously maintained and well cared for I'm just blown away by how good of shape this boat is in. It's a 2019, but it looks brand new. But the reason you know it's not brand new is because of all the owner upgrades. You've got scuba gear right there. You've got fishing gear on the ceiling. You've got an amazing high field dinghy and much, much more. I can't wait to show you all of it, but let's start out here in the aft deck and just go over how comfortable and how useful and how well laid out this boat is. Now the first thing that I notice about this aft deck is the comfort and the space. You've got four different seating areas to choose from right here. You've got the island, you've got the angled seating, and you've even got a beautiful little bench in the back. Oh, this is the place that I can spend all day. Well, I don't know about you guys, but my favorite time on a boat is cocktail time. And that's why this boat has an integrated ice maker that runs right off the 12 volt system. And then over here, we've got a built-in mini fridge for all your beer, hard seltzers, or whatever else you want to chill down. Another nice feature of this boat is a full wraparound shade enclosure, which keeps it cool, keeps rain from driving in the side, and also stops the wind from blowing napkins and paper plates off the dinner table when you're trying to enjoy a meal. Like I said before, You've got scuba tanks on racks on either side with a dive compressor up front, which I'm gonna show you. Then you've got shower coming right out here, so that way you can wash off right after taking a nice swim in the ocean. You've got the winch right here for the code zero. You've got a high field dinghy on a hydraulic lift that turns into its own swim platform. Might as well integrate the barbecue into that fun time right here. Built in, runs off the propane system of the boat. No need for little bottles and stuff like that. And you may have noticed that directly above the dinghy is a massive solar array. There are 2,225 watts of solar that are sending power straight to your massive lithium iron battery bank. And then up attached underneath the solar panels, you've got four floodlights that turn colors, red, blue, or white. You've also got motion detectors on either side that are connected to the GO system. So you'll know when someone walks up onto your boat. And then check this out. You don't see this every day. You've got your standard 110 volt for US ports. And then let's say you cross the pond, go over to Europe, 220 right there. Automatically switches over. You don't have to do anything. Plug and play. And guess what? There's more upgrades. The lights and the aft deck all turn from red, blue, or white. So you choose, you wanna look cool? Throw the blue ones on. You need some night vision? Red. You just wanna do a dinner and regular stuff? White. You want something romance? Turn them off and light some candles. And guess what else? There's a three zone fusion sound system with exterior speakers on the aft deck and the forward deck. And the internal zone has a Bose sound system with a subwoofer. All right, I don't want to spoil you too much. Let's talk about doing some sailing. So let's head upstairs to the running rigging station. I absolutely love the running rigging stations on Fontaine shows, but this one is special and I'll tell you why. You've got three beautiful Lumar winches. Two of them are electric. Not only that, you've got clutch cleats on the jib sheets. So that means you can lock off the jib sheet, remove it from the winch, and you can repurpose that winch for whatever you want. Makes it super easy to sail shorthand. And just like you'd expect, the main halyard and the reefing lines come straight back to the aft winch. But the first and second reefing lines are single line reefing systems. That means you just lower the halyard, pull in the reefing line until it's reefed, lock it off, and you are done. One more notable feature on the running rigging on this boat 
is the downhaul. The downhaul basically allows you to pull down the mainsail when you're done sailing and you don't have to go up on deck to pull the sail down. Let me tell you how awesome that is. You just stay here and everything can be done from the cockpit. And just like all Fontana shows, you've got an extremely comfortable helm station with enough room for a person to sit next to you. And you've got the full Garmin package, which I'll get into later. You've got a helm wrapped in reindeer hide, making it nice and grippy and comfortable. You've got a quick windlass control, allowing you to raise and lower anchor from the cockpit. You've got your ignitions for your 80 horsepower turbo Yanmar diesels. You've also got your autopilot, your compass, your throttle controls, and you've got a toggle switch for spotlights out front to spot lobster traps and any obstructions you need to when you're sailing in the dark. And above the helm station, you've got a custom made hard top with viewing window to see your sail and wind decks and even a light. Right next to the helm station is the upper deck. You've got an entire couch system where you can relax, sunbathe, and even talk with the helmsman. Up here on the upper deck, there's some pretty cool sailing features. For instance, my favorite, you've got a custom built-in boom preventer, one on either side that you'll attach to the other portion on the bow, making sure that your mainsail stays where you put it. On the mast, you've got fold up steps all the way to the first spreader, and you've even got two more steps at the very top to help you work and change light bulbs, windexes, instruments, anything is gonna make it easier. And also, the stack pack system for the mainsail is integrated with a zipper line that allows you to fully unzip and zip the mainsail cover while staying in one spot. Going from the upper deck down to the forward deck, you've got beautiful and well-positioned teak steps to get up and down. You've also got grab handles all the way around the boat, both forward and on the sides. The forward deck of sailing catamarans is by far my favorite place. I mean, look at the sunbed. It's just exquisite. You've got room for yourself and two or three other people. You've also got these foot wells, so that way you can sit with your feet at a lower portion so you can read a book or sip a cocktail. You've got this beautiful trampoline with a splash guard, which also makes it more comfortable to lay on and increases the longevity of your trampoline. And then going forward, you're gonna notice that there's two head sails. That's so important. You've got your standard Genoa with Facknor furler. And then you've also got a brand new North Sails Code Zero made of Dacron with a sun cover so it can live permanently on the bowsprit. And then it runs off a Carver furling system with a continuous line furling line, which can be operated from the cockpit using the electric winch. And looking inside the anchor locker, you've got a plethora of goodies. You've got your windlass, obviously, which is attached to an 85 pound mantis anchor with 325 feet of G7 chain, a cruiser's dream. And then as your secondary anchor, you've got a Fortress FX 37 with 24 feet of chain and 200 feet of nylon road. So that'll get you out of any sticky situations. And back here in the corner, we've got an Oceanus Bauer dive compressor, which allows you to fill your dive cylinders right on board. And this system will run directly off the inverter, off the batteries. You don't even need to run the generator. This boat is an incredible sailing vessel, but it's actually the engines that allow you to go anywhere, anytime. Let me show you why. This boat is outfitted with twin 80 horsepower Yanmar turbo diesels. On top of that, it's got twin Raycor filter systems built into each engine bay. And get this, it's got electric oil transfer pumps, which makes changing your oil a breeze. Each engine is equipped with a 100 amp alternator. That's as much power as your generator puts out. And all that power is being captured by your massive lithium ion battery bank. And as if it couldn't get any better, it's got two brand new mechanical water pumps. And then to complete the package, each engine bay is decked out with an automatic fire suppression system so you can cruise in confidence. And then below the waterline, this boat is propelled with three blade max prop feathering propellers, which eliminate drag while you're sailing. And if you're wondering why this boat is in such excellent condition, it's because it's never seen a day of charter in its life. It's only been lovingly maintained and sailed by its owners. I can't wait to show you the inside of this boat. This boat is responsible for spoiling me. I've sailed on a lot of cruising cats, 
a lot of Fontaine Peugeots, many bigger than this, but the comfort in this boat is unprecedented. As soon as you walk into this boat, you get the sense of volume, of space, of luxury, of comfort all around. Everything is clean, crisp, new, and fresh. The galley is unmistakably massive. It's got everything you need, just like at home. Four burner stove, gas oven, double deep sink, two refrigerators, an island, cutlery, drawers, and a standalone freezer with a convection oven microwave. The salon has a 90 degree wraparound couch with an adjustable coffee table, which also turns into another bed. All three lighting zones in the salon are adjustable and dimmable, allowing you to set your desired brightness. Wraparound sunscreens help keep the boat cool as well as blackout curtains for extra privacy. Multiple fans surround the salon in each corner, allowing you to keep comfortable airflow going. There are two air conditioning compressors in the salon, keeping the boat extremely cool. I love that this boat is so comfortable, but not just while you're at anchor or in the marina. It's also comfortable on long passages offshore. You can do the majority of your watch keeping and navigation right from the nav table. You have full control of your autopilot, radar, flare camera, and navigation equipment right here. This boat has an impressive collection of electronics, which gives you full access to all the systems on board. The fully integrated Garmin system allows you to view not just your engine controls, oil temperature, pressure, but also your water tank level, fuel level, and even your black water levels. The Garmin system also includes a full package, including radar, flare camera, depth sounder. You also have a second autopilot control, allowing you to adjust course from inside the salon. The Victron battery management system allows you to see everything that's coming into and going out of your battery bank, including your solar panels, AC loads, shore power. The Victron battery management system can also be remotely monitored, allowing you to see everything that's going on from your cell phone. It has a SIM card and sends updates to a cloud server every few minutes. The boat is also equipped with a ghost monitoring system, allowing you to see anytime someone steps on your vessel, opens a door, or if your bilge pump or high water alarm goes off. You've also got a Spectra Newport water maker that runs directly off the batteries allowing you to make water at sea anytime you need to. This vessel also comes with a KTI fuel transfer and polishing system, allowing you to transfer and polish fuel from any one of the vessel's four tanks. This boat has two 124 gallon main tanks and two 55 gallon auxiliary tanks. This boat has also had a major upgrade to the battery bank and battery management system. And I brought the creators and builders of this system to tell you more about it. I'm Steve. And I'm Tyrone. And we're Harbor Marine Electric in Key West, Florida. We just recently installed a custom power management system on this boat. Our upgrades in includes a new 48 volt battery system. Uh, it's a thousand amp hours uh, capacity storage at 48 volts, the equivalent of 4,000 amp hours at 12 volts. We have also added 48 volt alternators to each engine alongside the 12 volt alternators to be able to charge at 10 kW to the 48 volt bank. The heart of the system is a Victron Energy Quattro. It's rated at 15,000 watts continuous and 25,000 watts peak. So what does all this mean? Well, this means that you can run the boat the same way that you run it on shore power without any power management issues. With this much power available, we can run all systems on board, including all of the air conditioners for over 10 hours continuously. We designed the system to run at full power with all air conditioners running. And the owner is able to run four air conditioners for over 16 hours, which allows you to spend the entire night nice and comfortable in your cool cabin and cook breakfast in the morning without having to worry about a generator. A lot of fun putting this system together using top-of-the-line equipment, the latest cutting-edge technology and lithium, and I uh, feel like it's a game changer for the cruising community. Here we are in the forward locker where we house the 20 lithium-iron batteries 
for the 48 volt bank in this custom cabinet. This custom cabinet was built using marine grade plywood and an epoxy coating system to protect the batteries from water intrusion. With these upgrades, you'll be able to focus more on the cruising experience instead of being distracted by power management. All right, let's head downstairs so I can show you the staterooms. Coming back into the smallest stateroom, you'll notice that it's actually very large, very comfortable, lots of natural light, lots of great surfaces to store things, charge your phone, a nice big drawer to put your luggage. Back towards the entrance, you've got a great spacious hanging locker for your clothes. Each stateroom actually has its own private in-suite head and shower. You're gonna absolutely love the heads on this boat. They're Raritan Atlantis heads. They allow you to choose from salt water or fresh water and have a menu which you can select from different flushing modes. The elongated bowls give you the same comfort as your toilet at home. Heading forward now into the second guest stateroom. You'll notice that this guest stateroom is larger than the other. This stateroom is also bathed in beautiful natural light, giving you sweeping views of the outdoors. This stateroom gives you a little extra storage as well as your conventional under the bed storage. This stateroom also has a private in-suite head and shower. Going forward, this boat actually has a dedicated captain or crew quarters, allowing an extra captain or crew to join you on your sailing adventures. Not only does this captain's quarters have its own head and standalone holding tank, it also provides plenty of storage for spare parts, lines, and anything else you'd like to store, as well as a ladder going up to the hatch, allowing for easy entry and exit. All right, and I've saved the best for last for you. Let's go and check out the master stateroom. Coming down into the master stateroom, it's breathtaking. The full hull allows plenty of space to enjoy and be comfortable. Natural light pours in through all the windows. Plenty of storage looking forward. You've got a beautiful vanity to sit, do makeup, do some work on the computer. You've got a flat screen TV for entertainment in the evenings, surrounded by plenty of storage. The master stateroom can be sealed off, completely private. The entire stateroom is shrouded in storage of all shapes and sizes, hanging lockers, cabinets, cupboards, and drawers. There are two separate air conditioning units in the master stateroom, allowing you to save energy or stay completely cool. Going forward into the owner's bathroom, you've got a nice big sink with giant mirrors, which cover huge medicine cabinets for storage, shrouded in glazed glass. A full stand-up shower gives sweeping views of the ocean all the way forward, your own private head, which also gives access to the water maker and battery bank. I've got to say that this master stateroom is probably one of the nicest staterooms I've ever been in. It's just so spacious, so well laid out, with so much storage and comfort. Not to mention all the beds on this boat are custom made mattresses with custom fitting sheets, so you will be cruising in style and comfort guaranteed.